अच्छा सॉरी आपको डिस्टर्ब करूंगा हे हबीबुल्ला नो बडी स्केर्ड एट ऑफ यू एंड बाय द वे हबीबुल्ला आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन उजमा चैनल at least 20 times to come live and ask question and i have given oh, yeah. you the answers over there and i have opened i told you i will open a live stream just for you as well if you need if you want to give me some time so don't you dare call any of my uh subscribers and watchers as if you are scared because trust me i don't take more than 5 minutes to block anybody who would say such a thing So now Habibullah come, come up live mm -hmm. and talk to me I have given you the answers already and I have challenged you come up and ask the question let's see if I have the answer or not see and you say I have not given you the answer and I have already given you the answer but you think I have not come up ask mm -hmm. I am here to give you the answer imagine how like guys listen if habibullah will come i, I will not no no uh, no no usma i will not ask him anything i will only give him the question i will only answer him imagine that so we have lamb goat soup with us let's bring him up first lamb goat soup how are you welcome welcome bhaiya lamb goat soup <laughs> we are just talking about the dishes lamb goat soup yummy yummy thank you so much for coming <laughs> thank you very much for having me uh it's a pleasure to see both of you or to hear both of you um you i so just much. wanted to say that um guys I, uh guys and gals i think that we need to uh bring the muslims to the word of jesus christ and remind them the difference between christianity and islam is that Jesus Christ showed us he is the prophet of God through his wisdom and miracles. Muhammad terrorized and chopped up anybody who did not believe in him. There's a very big difference between Christianity and Islam. We don't go around calling people dogs and killing them. No, we go around and we see who are evil and we bring them to the light of Jesus Christ. Muhammad, he doesn't do that. I think that they have forgotten what it means to be a prophet of God. a son of abraham they're lost but uh what what are you guys talking about right now uh three muslim channels joined hands and made a refutation on allah sends a stray of my video allah gumra karta hai and that is why you are seeing some of the urdu videos in my channel and that's why i made this video to explain to everyone guys Sorry about that because I do not have over a thousand subscriber in my Urdu channel, and I have to tag these idiots so that they won't say that I made a refutation without tagging them. So that is why I am putting that in my English channel. But all of these channels are Pakistani channels. This channel is called Muslim Masi Mukalama, the debate between Muslim and Christians, and they don't come up for a debate for me. I have challenged them anyways a uh, long time ago. <laughs> Islamic Awakening. whom i destroyed two of their people this this idiot i destroyed in 30 minutes and his uh, big daddy avast i destroyed in another hour uh, two debates and this light of truth i have made two videos refuting them and i challenged in them in both of my videos they all three of them joined hands and made just tried to made let me just say tried to made one video refuting me in which in at least one hour 10 minutes they did not refuted me they never said allah did not send a stray or allah does not send a stray so that's where we are standing and i just wanted to make a video saying guys i'm sorry i'm put my urdu videos in english channel but unless i have 1000 subscribers i have to tag these idiots and i'm putting that over here and i'm going to make them famous i'm going to translate every refutation in my channel after i finish with their 2 hour 53 minutes that they made refutation of one hour video <laughs> of mine <laughs> brother hey, this habibullah he said that he sorry <laughs> now go ahead go ahead no no i said the uh, habibullah said that he is in the class but he is typing very fast like i mean if he is in the class why he is here forget forget that idiot forget forget that idiot forget that idiot when he if he if he has the if he has yeah. the guts 
he can come live the link is in the stream already pinned if he doesn't have the guts uh, trust me he knows what I'm gonna do now now he's gonna laugh uh, there you go if he is in the class we can time him out hey take the class Abibula, and when the class is over come live see that's how easy it is imagine this <laughs> don't tell me these kind of stuff okay lamb god soup what are you going to say brother um, I was gonna say simply that it seems like we are having an issue with the Muslims where they are trying to institute their faith in Allah, in Muhammad, over their knowledge of the scriptures. Now, I was reading in the book of Jeremiah the other day that um, I believe it was in the book of Jeremiah where he was saying that the Lord God is displeased because the people are following false prophets and descriptions and ideas, imaginary things in our own minds. But we're not actually going to the counsel of God. We're not actually going to the word of him to recognize what his position is. Now, with Islam, they are not recognizing that they have to refute. They must refute those verses where Muhammad commands the death of those who change the religions. They must refute the verses where Muhammad says to marry a child like he married Aisha. They must refute a ton of these verses but they can't do it. So they're trying to institute their faith in Allah. But I think that it's very important that we establish a clear boundary between our wisdom and their wisdom. Otherwise, they will continue to play this back and forth game with us. We need to set our foot down, especially now that the Taliban is in power. I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, you are uh, right. Taliban is uh, going to bring Sharia and I I want to have a country with Sharia at least so that when somebody would say that he needs Allah's law in the land I'd say go to that country this your country uh, but anyhow we have another another friend in the in the backstage uh, his name is Jayish if I'm pronouncing it right uh, brother if you do not want to show your screen there is a button called stop cam perfect let me add him. All right, brother. Welcome. Hey, buddy. How are you? I am doing very well. God bless you. Thank you for joining in. Uh, first of all, I would say I like the way you speak. I heard you firstly, uh, first time on uh, Sahil's channel. And I was impressed oh. by the way you speak. So one thing I'll uh, request you that I uh, have a stream with you and Spartacus. Because you both have the same tone and you have your accent and your Punjabi is really good. So if you can make a video together, that would be really wonderful. Brother, I'm already uh, in contact with uh, Spartacus. He is also from my same country and from my yeah. same area. And we are already in contact and I am trying to get him to my channel and uh, going to his channel. So we are going to do a lot of collaboration. And <clears throat> even though there are belief systems, that current belief systems do not match, but at the same time, neither my belief system says kill him nor his belief system says kill me we okay. will have some disagreements fair enough that's two different brains two different theologies but at the same time we are talking about one particular belief system which says kill both of us <laughs> yeah, because we true. left that's islam <laughs> that's true i buddy, i have a request uh, that uh, me and indian we have even I have studied in Christian convent school, so we know many things about Jesus Christ. But the problem is, uh, many of us Indians we don't know anything about Mother Mary, what was her life, what were her virtues. So if you can make some video about her as well, so we might be educated about her, because we just knew that she she was a woman chosen by God to bear His child. But what was her life? What were her virtues? Because uh, if she was not a virtuous woman, God have not chosen her. So what was her life, how she led her life after Christ as well. So if you can make something on that, that would be really helpful for us to know about her. Okay. So there is one thing over here to know. We follow yeah. Jesus, not Mother Mary, number one. Yeah. That's okay. that's the reality. Let me finish. Amen. Let me let me let me say Sorry. the sentence completely. We follow okay. Jesus Christ, not the Mother Mary. Hmm. Bible is very clear on who Mother Mary was and what was uh, what she was, and she was a righteous hmm. woman. It is very clear, so clear that even Muhammad, Muhammad could not deny that he had to say, and he had to say in Surah Maryam that she was a righteous woman, 
right hmm. because he even him cannot deny that but what was her teaching and what was her life it was an important why because we don't follow her we follow okay. christ and that is why christ is our way christ is our uh, role model we follow him we do not follow mother mary mother mary follow christ you need to understand yes. that particular fact she is the one who follow christ not the other way around and if you want to know a little bit more about her go and read yes. gossip of luke gossip of luke gospel, chapter gospel number 1 yes okay. chapter number 1 chapter number 2 you will have some hints of her and i think even 3 will have some okay. stuff about her and you can know her in a little bit more detail but once again what she is doing is not important what's okay. important is what jesus is doing even in john you will see the first miracle of john uh, sorry first miracle of jesus in the john and you will see some of uh, mother mary then you will see mother mary near the cross as well uh, and uh, like there are certain areas where you will see mother mary but once again sh- she is the righteous woman mother of jesus yes hallelujah but at the same time she is not our role model right we follow yeah. no i'm not uh, talking about uh, i'm sorry if i have not made myself clear i'm not saying in terms of uh, following uh, any person jesus yes jesus christ is there but uh, in terms of like uh, uh, when it uh, comes to islam they have the biographies of other the peoples so i'm t- talking just about the biographies okay 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 uh, you follow is uh, let's say you are not a muslim right or are you no i am not i am okay. a hindu i can say okay fair enough doesn't matter no, if you are not a muslim does not matter whoever you are it doesn't matter no. to me and it doesn't matter to my channel as well okay, okay. so now in islam show me the biography of muhammad in quran it's not, it's not in quran it's not in quran yeah, yeah i know it's not in quran they have okay. that means are the Let me let me uh, आगे चलते हैं आगे चलते हैं आफ्टर दिस यस शर्ट लेम गो वंस आई फिनिश यस यू यू आई विल गिव यू ऑल द टाइम ऑफ द वर्ल्ड टू डू दैट ओके लेट्स गो टू द सेकंड सेकंड थिंग कैन वी सी एनीथिंग अबाउट मोहम्मदस मदर इन कुरान आई थिंक इट्स जस्ट अ नेम मे बी आई एम नॉट श्योर आई हैव नॉट रेड कुरान आई हैव नॉट इवन द नेम नॉट इवन द नेम ओके नॉट इवन द नेम ऑफ मोहम्मदस मदर ओके ओके How about we see the name of Muhammad's father in Quran? Mm, no, not sure. Oh, perfect. So you don't have Muhammad Muhammad Sira in Quran. You don't have Muhammad's mother name in Quran, let alone Muhammad's mother name. You okay. don't even have Muhammad's father name in Quran, let alone Muhammad's father's doing. Oh, mm. okay. and you are saying that you have some sira of muhammad or some sira of this and some people abraham if you talk about abraham story you abraham's the whole story is nothing more than just a name and some stolen verses from the bible you do not know where he comes from where he went yep. whom he married you don't know anything about any other prophet as far as what it meant to be where they were or where they were not and what they were given what they were doing so in reality if uh-huh. you are talking to me as a muslim let's assume for the sake of argument you are a muslim for the sake of uh-huh. argument okay as a muslim nobody can tell me anything about their anything anything about their anything let me just put it this way From okay Quran. that was a nice term theek hai so how dare a muslim ask me even or ask you even about mother mary I can give you so many verses about Mother Mary in in the Bible. Yes, I can, and like I told you, you can read. Even Mother Mary has a chapter in in the Quran, and by the way, it's very derogatory. It's very very bad. Why? Mother Mary is saying when she is having the childbirth pain uh-huh. that, Oh Allah. i would have died in oblivion means i would have died before this childbirth pain when she has been given the blessing of a son by angels not just one angel angels malaikat angels 
Okay. That you will have a blessed son who will be an ayah to the alamin, who will be a sign for the worlds, not just this world, but worlds. World. But you yep. don't, you don't see a jack about Muhammad, and then she oh. is saying, "I would have died in oblivion." If your mother, my mother, I'm not going oh. to just put your mother on the spot. I'm going to put my mother as well, having us in her belly, oh. she would have said, "I would have died in oblivion." Do you think? Never. Before this childbirth, pain. no mother would do that. She no. would bear the childbirth pain with all happiness and gladness. If and you love. see in if you see in Luke chapter number one, Mother Mary oh. is singing. There is a song of Mother Mary, oh. which says how blessed she is to carry Jesus in her womb. Oh. That's the beauty. So, quite frankly. I literally do not feel the need to do that. But if you want okay. to learn about Mother Mary, come to oh. my Discord, and I will show you Mother Mary in the Gospels. Sure, I would like to, uh, love to do that. Really, perfect. I would like, love to do that. And uh, God bless uh, you for if, uh, if if I can ask something about Quran. Yes, brother. Um, uh, okay. Quran, by the way, by the way, by the way, uh, by the way, before you go forward, I think Lamb God Soup has something to say to you. Yes, buddy. Um, so, um, I understand that you are Hindu, if I, if I understood that correctly. Yeah. Um, okay. So, first I just want to say to you that, um, all of you, that I will always have something to say. I always have something on my mind. But mo most importantly, I don't hold any divine words. I cannot tell you the truth and the extent as if I was there or I witnessed it. But I can tell you some of the things that I know, some of the things I believe that I know. And what I believe is a lot of us in our hearts are looking to know who is that man or who is that woman because we want to embody something better than ourselves. We want something to assist us in our knowledge, and hopefully that will give us some ground. But in truth, the only thing that we know about Mother Mary and Jesus Christ Aside from the scripture, we know in our hearts that Mother Mary was truly a Jewish woman. And in the scripture, it says that the Father God seen her as a pious and a virtuous woman as the order that he had already dis destined. So if you truly want to know what her personal life was really like, you can read the gospel and get to know her. But you will know her through the teachings that the Lord God has already instituted to the Jews we know before us. And even greater, we know that Mary was also waiting for the Messiah, who she was blessed to hold in her womb. Now, keep in mind, others have said in the time of Christ, blessed be the woman who gave you milk, who gave you her breast milk. But Jesus says, I believe, I'm incorrect, I believe, but I thought Jesus said something like, blessed be the one who created me, or blessed be the one who created her and destined all of this. And I don't remember exactly what he said, but if I recall, he gave glory to God. So you can look for Mary and you can look for all of those people in their biographies. But the only thing that you will ever truly know in the end is that these are each characters that are living their own lives. And each of them has a connection with God. You yourself are a person and you have a connection with God. Don't worry too much about what this person said or what this person did. Worry about what you're doing right now. Worry about who you are right now. Even if I were to follow maybe Buddha, for instance, would it do me any good to sit here and to keep jealousy in my mind or to keep a thought in my head that I should reach a place that he has reached? I will never get anywhere if that's how I constantly feel. You must be here and now. You must see who you are. And that is how you're going to get closer to God. Because that's what, that's what God's asking you for, to repent yes, to him. To look to him and to know him. We have come to believe that Jesus is the God that we know. I believe the one that I meditate and I pray to is Christ. So um, I would just encourage you, you know, go to Jesus and read the gospel and pray, but don't let it block you. Don't let it confuse you. If that is what confuses you, then you have become lost. Because that is the definition of lost, being confused. Have faith, have strength. And one final thing. 
I have also seen with my own eyes, with other friends and witnesses, miracles after praising God, supernatural signs like light and fire and lightning and, and even hearing the voice of God. I truly believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Maybe, maybe everyone has their own belief, but in my heart, I have seen God show me that he is Jesus. So I encourage you with that word to take off with that. God bless you, brother. Uh, I'll try. I'll see. Uh, I'm an open person. I like to know about different things and anything. If it suits me, uh, I'm ready to follow it. So that's why I'll read the Gospels. I don't have any issues with that. To read any Gospel. So I'll read it. I'll read the Bible. Because uh, in school, we have just learned some things, but it was not something that uh, it was imposed on us. So I don't know anything in depth. But yes, I'll read it. And I'll see where I'll go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, brother. Thank you. Um, and Thank amen. You. Yes. Um, Adam Seeker, did you want to say anything? Yeah. Guys, don't don't uh, put Ridwan Ibrahim on a timeout when he is not blaspheming. Uh, please don't do that to all my moderators. Uh, that would be a request. It does not matter. If he is asking a question, let him ask the question. That's not a problem. All right. So Ridwan Ibrahim asked a question. He is in a timeout. So he will. He said. What makes you become a Christian, Adam? That's a question to me. Uh, brother uh, Jayesh, J can you please pronounce your name for me, please? Jayesh. 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 Jayesh, can you please mute when you're not talking because uh, there's a lot of background noise. Thank you. All right. So Rizwan asked, what makes you become a Christian? Rizwan, Ibrahim, have you not watched my uh, live stream, uh, my testimony? That would be a very silly thing to not watch my testimony while you are here and asking me this question. Because uh, if you're asking me this question, then you should have watched my testimony. So let me share you with the link of my testimony. This is in Al Fadi's channel. There you go. That's for you, Mr. Ridwan. I have shared you with my testimony link. Please watch it. And uh, <clears throat> Once you have gone through it, because this is not the day of my testimony, hence watch it. And if you still have any question, you are more than welcome to come back. And guys, please do not block Ridwan Ibrahim or anybody else until or unless they go beyond a certain limit. Okay, and you guys already know what the limit is. As long as he's asking a question, let him be that. Let him do that. All right. So, Redwan, you already have my link for my testimony in the live chat. So, enjoy, listen, and then come back with the definite answer or a question that you have. Habibullah, you are more than welcome to come up live. And I have told you that you can ask me questions like you have that, like the question that you have asked me in the chat of Uzma's live stream and I have given you the answer and I've given you the link. If you still do not have the answer, you are more than welcome to come live and ask. This is how I am because when we have the truth, we don't hide unlike Muslimin who hide and run behind different channels and don't even tag when we are when they are stating things against us. All right. Now, let's go to our next question. Is there any question over here? Let me talk with Andhra Martin. No, you are not going to talk with anybody else except me over here because this is my channel. You are not going to have another sub chat in the live chat. In the live chat, you are either sticking to the points that I'm describing over here or you are not going to have a subtopic in the live chat. So stop doing that. If you want to do that, go and have a comment in the description and talk to Andrew Martin. Not you cannot have a sub chat in my live chat. If you do that, I will by myself block you. So don't do that. So brother Adam, like he said that he wants to talk, but he also said after that that he's in the class still, but he has time to type. 
I mean, what are hypocrite and liars? This is this is this is a this is an excellent type of class where he has headphones on his ears, watching oh. YouTube, and while the teacher is saying something in the class, and he has no respect for his teacher as well. So that's a specific type of class. That is why we have Muslims like him, who doesn't know jack about Islam. Who doesn't know jack about anything else but they come up try to refute us because when the teacher is saying something they are not listening to the teacher they are listening to me and then they try to refute me <laughs> <laughs> and he has a red beard can you, can you see the, the picture of him is a red beard like how come he's a red beard oh my gosh uneven red beard i would even reject straight away if i see that Oh, oh that, okay. that's not for you. That's for especially Muslims. You are not a Muslim. Either, oh. so. <laughs> and a smiley face with the red beard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, oh, that's for Muslims. There's one that is for person. Muslimas that... only. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I want to show you something because we were talking about Mother Mary. So guys, yeah. check this out. I would like to show you. This is page number 178 of stories of prophet by ibn let me let me show you uh, there you go this is the stories of the prophet by ibn kathir so this book is written by ibn kathir and it is about the stories of the prophets all right let's let's look at that let me zoom in this is the kisasul ambiya the stories of the prophets okay by ibn kathir now in these stories, if we go to page number 178, look what's happening. Story about Mother Mary's pregnancy. This is the title. Some stories about Mother Mary's pregnancy. Look what is going to happen over here. It was said that Joseph the carpenter was greatly surprised when he knew the story. So he asked Mary, can a tree come to grow without a seed? She said, yes. The one which Allah created for the first time, he asked again, is it possible to bear a child without a male partner? She said, yes, Allah created Adam without male or female. Okay, <clears throat> now look what's happening. It was also said that while pregnant, Mary went one day to her aunt, who was reported that she felt as if she was pregnant. Mary in turn said she too was feeling as if she was pregnant. Then her aunt said, I can see what is in my womb prostrating to what is in your womb. So, Yahya, the prophet Yahya, in his mother's womb is prostrating to Jesus in the womb of his mother. That's an Islamic story, not a Christian story. This is an Islamic story by Ibn Kathir where most of the Muslims try to run to. Why would a baby in the womb of the mother prostrate to a human in a womb of another mother? Do you see the problem over here? Did not, didn't Allah said, do not prostrate to anyone except Allah? So why a Yahya is prostrating in the womb to another person who is in the womb? Imagine that. You see? You see what's happening over here? He's prostrating. I yeah. can see what is in my womb prostrating to what is in your womb. Wow. Huh. Like this is this is Islamic. Not not non-Islamic. It's not a not a book by a Christian. 
It's a book by Ibn Kathir. And we have a Muslim with us. Let's bring him on. There you go. Ridwanullah. What do you have to say this time around? Hey, go to a room where we do not have the background noise and we do not have to listen to all the rest of the stuff. Okay. When he will be able to come to a room where he doesn't have this background noise and he's able to listen to us. He's he comes to the my life when he is talking to other people and he have kids around. And this is not the first time. This is the third or the fourth time. He's paying no attention to what I'm saying, but he's coming yeah. live to promote himself. Yeah. And this is disrespectful of them. They don't have respect yeah. for anybody. That's Why do you thing. even come live? Because this these these are Muslims. Yeah. Because Yeshua is Kalamatullah. Exactly. Kalamatullah, yeah. Allah says that. Allah says that, not me. Allah says that. So uh, there's a guy saying, wow, great. What is the source? I'm telling you the source. This is stories of the prophet in Arabic. It's Kisasul Ambiya. Kisasul Ambiya. You will... Ibn Kathir tried to collect all the kisses, all the stories of the prophets in one book. And he called those book, that book, Kisasul Ambiya, the stories of the prophets. So what he did was he collected these stories from multiple sources and put them in one book. By the way, in that book, beginning of the book, you will read in the Arabic version of it. He said, I'm not going to use the Bible or anything for this. But when you read these books, you will realize a lot of stories that he is telling us. Jibrail has to come to him directly to tell him all these stuff. Otherwise, he cannot write them. So I'm going to give another chance to Ridwanullah because he's back again. Let's see if he has the same stupid background noise and all that. And is he listening to us or not before he can start speaking and babbling? All right, Ridwanullah. What do you have to yeah, say? What's up? What's up, bud? I'm good. Thank you. What about you? I have a question. I have a question for you, man. Mm -hmm. What do you why do you become a Christian? I already gave you the answer for that. Oh uh, no. I haven't asked. I you. did. I did that. Oh. Did you did oh, you watch my testimony? Oh, can you say that again? Did you watch the link that I sent you? Which link? See, so you asked a question in the live chat. Mm -hmm. I responded to you in reply in voice and I sent you a link. So you are only here to ask questions, not look at your replies. Why did you, you even ask right the question? Now. Why did you even you ask the question? Hold on. Why did you even ask the question in the live chat? <laughs> If you were not willing to listen to the answer, I didn't ask question in the live chat. I say I have a question. You asked me a question in the live chat. Okay. What was the question? I say, why do you become a Christian? That was the question that you asked in the live chat, and I no highlighted one? it. I listen. I highlighted it on screen, and then I gave you the link, which tells no, I why I accepted I Christianity. Here. No, I want to say it here. So you want me to repeat a two hours long testimony of mine over here with no, you? No, no. Why? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not saying two hours. What? I just need a statement. Why you become a Christian? No, there is not. There is not a statement. Are you? Are you? Are you that silly? So I left Islam. Why I left Islam? Because why I accepted Christianity? What? Hold on. Hold on. You asked me a okay. question. So okay. why I left Islam? <laughs> Why I became mm -hmm. an agnostic atheist, why I accepted Christ is almost a two hours long discussion, a talk, my life of three years, three and a half okay. years in two okay. hours. Already, it is the most shortest possible thing that I can do. Okay. Have you watched it? OK, OK, no problem. I'll go and watch it. My second question. Are Did you, you do you have the link? Uh, you send it already. I'll go and watch it. Don't worry about it. Let me ask my second question. 
Are you ready? Hello? If you haven't even gotten my first question and answer, why are you asking me another question? Oh, so you only answer one question? No, but like you don't even have the knowledge of what my first question is. Do you? I mean, don't worry about that. I'll go and watch it. Is that, so why did you ask it. me that question when you don't worry about that? I will watch it. So you are not here for a reasonable talk. You are just here for babble, correct? Uh, are you trying to chase me away? Oh, I, if I want to throw you away, I can just throw you away right now. You think I don't I have the choice. control for that? I can just do it. Oh, of course. That's your choice. But right. I, so now I my question, question is, why do you accept Islam? Yeah, I've asked you that, and you said I should go and watch the, you know, the link, Okay, right? so do you have a, do you, why do you accept Islam? I, I have accept. oh, why do I have accept Islam? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was born a Muslim, and I studied it, and I understand that all prophets of God were Muslims. <laughs> okay, so you, st you are born as a Muslim, of and course. because Quran says that all prophets are Muslim, you believe in Islam. Of course. What Even proof do you have that all prophets are Muslim? Please give me the answer. Mm, okay, there are a lot of proofs. Yes, give me the give Quran me the proof. A book Quran to read that for. That's Quran. I said, what proof do you have that all prophets are Muslim? Open Quran to read that for. That is Quran. Silly, get out of Quran. This is one book. How can a book book says it is all prophets are Muslim, and then you believe into that that all prophets are Muslim? What proof oh. do you have that all prophets are Muslim? Oh, really? So uh, your your the way you, you silly up to that you don't understand that Quran is the only word of God. Ridwan, as a Muslim what? you believe that I understand that. As a non-Muslim, I a non-Muslim, I burn okay. Quran every other day and I put it under my feet. So now okay. coming back to the same okay. point, what okay. makes you believe that all prophets are Muslim? Uh -huh. Now and I'm taking you to what I believe, and you are saying you don't like that. Once so again, you want me to say? once again, that is not the answer. I asked answer? you, I asked you what gives uh -huh. you the evidence that <coughs> all prophets are Muslim. How many times do I have to repeat my question and again and again? How what is the proof? You, how many times do you want me to answer you? Don't be silly, bro. Open 2834. Okay. Come on, man. Once again, what does it say? Read it. Open it. You can show it here. A bit. You don't you have a Quran? Boy, I don't have. Okay, so I am not a boy of yours, by the way. You are equal to my son. I can call you son. So stop babbling and tell me how all prophets are Muslim. I'm still waiting. What happened? Allah closed your microphone. Oh, Allah does not want you to talk to Adam. You got scared of Adam. Or oh, what just happened? Something happened to his. Jibrail just his came. Or something. Hello? Oh, Jibrail just came. Finished him. Ridwan, what makes you believe that all prophets are Muslim? We are still waiting. Still waiting. Tick tock. What happened to this guy? Hey, hey, baby, Abdul. Hello. Oh, back. His microphone was fixed by Allah. Did you say Inshallah ten times today? Hello, Allah is not helping him. Allah is really not helping him. Wow. I'm sure he can listen, but he's not answering on purpose. They're stubborn people. You know, when oh. they don't have an answer, they're like this. They pretend. They're just, uh, they come and they just think that they hold the world. They can, you know, they're, they're the only one people like, you know, they know everything. Nothing. What can I say? Empty. 
Empty. They're empty it. people. They don't know anything. Now he's gone. <laughs> Man, seriously. <laughs> he's okay, calling so a boy, Quran brother. Is... Brother Adam is calling a boy. Boy. Yeah, boy, boy. They, they, that is from this idiot broom faced guy. Uh, uh, what is his name? This idiot guy, broom faced guy. What was his name? Uh, the one who calls his Muslim people as uh, pusillanimous. What was his name? Uh, guys, what is his name? Hold on. Let me let me bring this guy for a short while. Hold on. What is the name of this guy? I forgot the name of this guy. Because you're pusillanimous. Yeah. What is the name of this guy? Guys, come on, give me the name. I forgot his name, yeah. How how can I forget his name? Mimi Hijab. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, the that guy. So, yeah, he 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 used the word uh, boy and boy and all that kind of stuff. So they try to imitate this idiot. All right, so what's happening? Sister Uzma, are you going as well? Yes, Mimi Hijab. And Abraham, uh oh, Allah put him into hell probably. Yeah, somehow, I don't know why uh, I'm your teacher, boy. Well? Oh, no, no, he's gone. I'm your teacher, boy. I'm your teacher, boy. He's again oh. back. Oh, my God. His Allah fixed his microphone. His Allah fixed his microphone. All right, Redwan. Sabik. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? So what is your evidence? Okay, open Quran for the two. Okay, so you are going to tell me Something about Quran from Quran. Okay, let's go. What do you want me to open? Open Quran 42 verse 13. <clears throat> Quran 42 verse 13. Yeah. All right, guys. Let me let me give Ridwanullah today some time. I am being very generous today. Okay, Ridwanullah. So, bolo. Read. Okay. Read it. Read. It's your verse, read. Oh, why can't you read? Why should I read? You it's your Quran. You asked for a verse. Read it now. I'm showing it on screen. Uh, read. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can hear you, bro. Hello? Yes, I can read. I can hear Hello? you. Ridwan, are you wasting my time? Okay, he's gone again. Okay. Why Muslims might never work? But they have a questions. But their might never works. I don't know. And they have plenty money. I mean, why? I have no idea, sister. I have no idea what is happening. Lamb got soup. What's hey, up, brother? Back now? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, my phone was being weird. Oh, what happened to your phone, brother? Like, literally just now, my phone, I was trying to select unmute the mic, but I don't know, like, what the font was doing. It was creating a video then put all the options to the right side and then like undid it and put everything back to the bottom. And then it happened like one more time. It was just, it was just tedious, but that's not the reason I left. I was actually, okay. uh, Brother, sorry. The wi -Fi. Yeah. Sorry. Ridwan is back. Let me take him. <clears throat> okay. Ridwan, your verse is up in the screen. Read. Okay. Yeah. Let them read the translation. Okay. First read the verse. Okay, whatever. 
Okay, what is the translation? What what says? There are other, you know, what is the meaning of that? By the way, if your if your if your Arabic reading skills are being heard by someone, they would laugh. Oh, by the way, oh. Chloe is already laughing because don't, she she don't, she is don't, Arab. Don't you know your own your own accent is more laughter than mine? Oh, don't of the laughing. Arabic? Don't be laughing. At of something. Arabic? Okay, don't be. Of laughing. Arabic? Yes. Of Arabic. Okay, yes. let's bring let's bring two people who no. knows Arabic and we will start speaking. Oh yeah, read it. No, read read. How about that? Read the Arabic. How about how about how about how about we bring two people? How about we how about bring two people and we read the same Arabic? Bring them. Okay, now bring them. Now read. I'm not. Now read what it says. I'm not an Arab, but you from Arab. I'm still perfect. Okay, I'm from Arab. Hallelujah! I am from Arab. Hey, um. Before before we go on. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Lamb, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, now read what does it mean because you obviously do not know what it means unless you read the translation. Read it. Who told you that? Uh -huh. Take it out. I will translate it for you. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, just read the translation for everyone now. Okay, you don't say that again. Sorry, boy. Read I told you, go to a particular I, location I give you where you do not have the background <laughs> stupid noises when you are talking to me. I don't, give have to everyone. I don't have any damn noise here. It's from your people's side, not me. That, that was me. Okay. My bad. Okay. I Please just want to say yourself, um, peace, peace to you. I do know that you are a Muslim. And I just want to say that, brother, if you are following Islam, I know that you're not following Islam because you, know, you think it's a lie. You believe it's the truth. And I believe that God is going to look at you as you are. You believe in all of the prophets, but I want you to consider to yourself for one second that if all the prophets are true, then wouldn't it be fair to view the chronological order of both the Jews and the Muslims? Don't just take Muhammad's word for it, but take everyone's word for it, because you can see that it stops at Jesus. Then suddenly Muhammad appears, and now there's this big division. You have to ask yourself, are you going to just follow Muhammad because he says, this is the religion that worships God, or are you going to take the time to study the religion that worships God truly before you jump into Islam? You have you have to face that. Are you done? So, Lamb, you just you know what you just did. Lamb, you know what you just did, Lamb. Lamb, let me tell you what you just did. You threw away your pearls in front of swine. Seriously speaking, that is why I don't do this. So, my friend, please go on mute. Let me deal with this guy. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, you see, yeah. after your answer, what he said, he said, are you done? You see, you said something. Yeah. You gave your pearls. Yeah, he, and he, what he said, are he, you he, done? So I am telling you, brother, wait. Yeah. There is a way to work with these guys. Let me do that. And you please wait. And then you can have your final words. I will give you the time. Please mute yourself. Let All me right, have right. this Do guy. Thing. Thank you. All right. Read. Read one. Oh, that is it right there. Everybody can see it. Yeah, show you. Just me. read one. Read. No, I don't have to read it. It's there. He has ordained. He's an ordained of religion to Muhammad. The same religion he ordained to Musa, Isa, Noah, and Jesus as well. <clears throat> what is Islam? That is that is the that is the religion of Islam. Adino, Adino Islam. That is the religion he ordained to all prophets of God. Man who are Muslim. Who are the Muslims? The Muslims are the ones doing the will of Allah, the will of God. As Jesus also said in John chapter 6, verse, verse 38, Never think that I've come to do the will of myself, not except the will of whom that have sent me. So the will, whoever doing the will of God <clears throat> is the Muslim. What are the wills of God? The doings and do not do. The, do this, do not do this. Those are the will of God. As Jesus hey, can also, you read this verse? Uh, be respectful. Stop giving me a dawa. Can you please read this verse? Which verse? It's on the screen. Yeah, la sharikallahu. What is the lika umirtu wa an awwal al muslim Yeah, of course. Awwal al muslim means I am of one of the first Muslim. Not that he is the first Muslim. One of the first Muslim? Yeah, one of the first. Okay, Muslim. which 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 translation? says that he is the first of the muslimin because the arabic okay. actually is very clear which okay. says wa ana muslimin is that i am the first 
of the Muslimin. Mm -hmm. It does not say among. No, no, no. Among this is, is in, in the, brackets. Is in the bracket. Is in the bracket. Exactly. So is right. it in, in the Arabic? Okay, no. You you just read Arabic. Is yeah. it in Arabic? Yes or no? Is yes, yes. Okay, where? Which part? There's difference between a wala and a walu. Avalu. A what does avalu mean? Awalu. What's the meaning? Yes. A what does it mean? Awala. What's the meaning? What does it mean? I hope you know Tajweed well, very well. You know what does it mean? You know what the meaning of Tenwi means. Redwan. Redwan. Okay, Red let one. me explain. Redwan. What? Where? Which linguistic dictionary are you using? Can you please give me the link? No, I don't have any linguistics. Thing. Okay, so right now I have an Arab over here. Okay, let the Arab come. Okay, so Arab is here. Uh, Mr. Uh, Nurul Masih. Wa ana awwalul muslimin. He's an ex-Muslim like me, but he is an Arab ex-Muslim. So, uh, ana awwalul muslimin. Can you actually translate it among okay, you? Okay, thank you. Now, can you give me one second? Redwan, awal just let him say. Muslimin is different from awwal muslim. Awwal. Okay, I muted him. Nurul Masih, can you please tell us? Awwalul muslimin. Yes, I can hear you. And I am the first Muslim. Thank you. Ridwan, right. speak. Okay, thank you. We are getting there. <laughs> okay, now. Am I the one talking now or you? You are talking now. Thank you. You see what you just said? First of the Muslims. Not first of Muslims. Not I'm the first Muslim. First of the Muslims. Meaning that... He is the first of the Muslim in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Come on, stop crying, boy. Let me finish. Oh, no. I know. So no, you, no, are you... you are adding, you are adding, oh. you are adding. I'm not adding. I'm you are explaining. adding no, no, words no. in Quran. I'm explaining. It's okay, not... let me let me let me give you another thing better. So Avalu, what do you say? What should be here instead of what this what what should it be no, should it be kasra no, over here no, wait what should subject, it be here the subject of the matter is muslimin okay so what should be here the subject uh, of the matter is the muslimin how can it be muslimin because there are so many muslims in 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 in, in saudi arabia now no, when because this there are was... so many muslims before him I mean, hey, that's no stupid time. listen oh, oh, my god. oh my god when the chapter number six came up what is the revelation order of chapter number six Revelation after chapter 6. Yes, what is the revelation order of chapter number 6? Uh, bring it out. What is it? I'm asking you, you silly. What you is the revelation me, order boy. of chapter don't, number 6? You don't have to ask me. Just, just bring your question. I don't have to ask me that. What do bring, you mean by that? No, bring your, 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 your topic. Just bring the verse you want to ask question on. You don't just I am it. asking you. Are you a Muslim? Of course, I'm a Muslim. Perfect. So, by revelation, chapter number 6, Surah Al-Anam, mm -hmm. is what chapter of Quran? Surah by revelation. That's chapter 6. Yes. This is the chapter that is in Quran in current order. What is the revelation order of chapter number 6? What's the revelation? What's the revelation? The way Muhammad received these verses, because this is not the order of the Quran. Do you know chapter number 96 was the first verse? Al Kalam. Chapter 19? 96 is the first revelation to Muhammad. Oh, is, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. If if chapter 19 said first revelation, mm -hmm. so are you telling me that it's because that said first revelation, it should be where Fatiha, Fatiha is, right? I'm not saying that you're silly. Yeah, I asked you a question. Your question is, is I asked you a question. What is the revelation order for Surah Al-Anam? Do you have the answer, yes or no? Should I, I tell you? I don't, I don't have answer for that. Okay, now listen then. By revelation, Surah Al-Anam is the 55th chapter of Quran. Says who? Says who? Says your Islamic scholars. Who can is you Islamic prove scholar? me this wrong? Who is that Islamic scholar? Hey, idiot, can you prove me wrong? Oh, don't be dumb, bro. Can it you prove scholar. me wrong? I don't Please. Have to prove you Hello. Wrong. I don't have to, I don't Hello. Redwan. Yeah. Redwan. Wait. Redwan. So you are telling me 
Surah Fatiha is the first surah that came to Muhammad by Jibreel. Guess what? Guess what? I asked you a question. Sport, suppose, su stop giving me guesses. Yo, yo, don't be silly. Are you telling me? Any chapter can be in any chapter. That's not my problem. What Rizwan. is there? What Rizwan. is there is to prove. There's one. I just asked you. Where have I saw you? Okay, now I'm going to put him on mute. Rizwan, listen to the question so that I'll give you the mic to answer. Are you telling me Surah Fatiha is the first revelation to Muhammad in Ghare Hira? Listen to my question again. I'm repeating. Are you telling me Surah Fatiha is the first revelation that Jibrail gave to Muhammad? The mic is yours. Absolutely no. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you. I'm not telling you so that. no. So okay. what was the first surah given to Muhammad by Jibrail? Of course, it's like, as we said, as we heard about it. Which one? 90. Forget about that. We understand. Which one? Oh my goodness. What kind of Which thing? one? Is verse Quran chapter 90? What's the problem? 90? Is 90 or 96? Ah, subhanallah. 90 or 96? Guess what? Guess what? Stop guessing. Yeah. Which one? Your choice is Surah Al Kalam. Surah Al Kalam. Thank you. Now, same in the way, by revelation, Surah Al Anam. What is the revelation order of this Surah? You said it's 55, right? Thank you. So, you okay. agree with me now? Continue. Yeah, continue. Do you agree with me now? Continue, boy. Thank you. Now, right now uh -huh. more than half of the quran is okay. already given to muhammad okay. and muhammad has shut up when i'm speaking now muhammad has already revealing chapter number 55 okay. by the end time of his makkah right it is the ending time of his makkah right now he has at least 50 plus followers okay assume 50 Assume 40, assume 30, whatever. It is half of the Quran already revealed to Muhammad almost. Hmm. Quarter of the Quran has already, 55 surahs are already given. Quran has 114 surahs. Right now, there are already Muslimin among Muhammad, around Muhammad. Now, this surah is coming and it is saying, La Sharika Lahu. No partner has he. Wa bizalika. Wa. Wa. And we and with that. Umirtu. 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 I have been commanded. Who? Muhammad is talking. I have been commanded. Otherwise, it is Allah talking. By the way, this is Quran, but somehow uh, it's Muhammad right now. Wa ana awwalul muslimin. I am the first of the Muslimin. Allah is the most silly God in the history of silly gods. <laughs> if he can't even if he can't even say <laughs> over here Wa ana awwalul muslimin by Bil Arabia or Bil Makkah or something like that. So why would Allah not complete the verse if it is what you are saying? The mic is now yours. Okay, my uh sometimes when you talk i just need to use question to answer your question your your question don't is, give me the answer I can see you are you are, you are don't short, don't yeah. see don't see don't talk knowledge. don't mock give they're me the answer of, they are short of knowledge and everything if give me the like, answer i'm waiting i'm can i can you tell me who was the first christian can you tell me this thing first before we go to the next topic? That, I will go to that topic. I, I will go to that Christian topic. Was John. Boy, silly, because John was oh, the hold one. on, hold on, Lamb God. Lamb God, please. Lamb, hold on. Hold on. Not yet. Hey, hey Ridwan, shut up. I, Answer the question before you go to another question. That is my question. That's my brother. Who is the first Christian? Shut up and answer the question before you I go to the next question. I, I just answer you. I've told you, I've explained to you that this verse says Awal al Muslimin. Not Awal okay. al Muslim. Not Awal al Muslim. Oh, hey, stupid. Awal al Muslim. Hoi ni sakta. It is not possible to say Awal al Muslimin. Muslim. Because if you are the only Muslim, like, then you cannot be the first Muslim. You stupid like, idiot. Like, right now, so, it is the 55th chapter so of you Quran don't, you don't by revelation. Uh, 
you just speak it. Shut up, stop before when I'm speaking. Shut up when I'm speaking. Or I'm throwing, I'm going to throw you off. So shut up when I'm speaking. Stop. Hold your tongue while I'm stop. speaking. I continue. Okay. When you are saying Awalul Muslim, that is grammatically wrong. Why? Because if you are the only Muslim, then you cannot be the Awal because you are the only Muslim. Here we are talking about Awalul Muslimin. Why? Because this is the 55th chapter of Quran by revelation. And right now you have almost 50 Muslims, give or take, 5 or 10. Does not matter. Now, once again, why Muhammad is being saying that he is the first of Muslimin, whereas he, this Ridwan guy is saying, he is the first Muslim in Makkah. Ridwan, now the mic is here, and next time if you speak over me, I'm going to kick you off. Give me the answer. I mic is yours. I know you don't have respect. Let me just talk. You know, don't be silly, man. Now, I do not have respect. See what I can do when you speak these stupidities. I'm going to add you again. Stick to the point. Give the answer. Silly. There you go. Just calm down. Listen to your, to your master. I'm your master here. Master? You are my master. Let's see uh -huh. who's the master. There we go. And the Rizwan has been thrown away. The masters has destroyed Rizwan. It is a kick on his buttocks. We call it in Pakistan language, Chuttar. Redwan, what do you think of me? Imagine, am I your dummy? You are on my channel. You are calling yourself master without giving any explanation. Are you an idiot? Were you born this way or after accepting Islam, your brain went down to your knees or is it under your balls or inside your balls? What do you think? So let's see if you have understood what I can do with you over here and you are here willing to give an answer. Let's see. Is your brain back in your head? So you bring your balls back, right? Is your is your brain back in your head or still I, in your balls? Okay, bye. Get lost and he is gone. Yes, uh, my brother Nurul Masih, what do you have to say, brother? Uh, can, you hear me, brother. can you hear me? Yes, I can. Well, I don't know what is the argument. Verse is clear in Arabic. وأنا أول المسلم. I am the first Muslim. So there, in Arabic, it is the the first Muslim. And what is is Islam? Is to witness to Allah and to Muhammad. How can someone before Muhammad witness to Muhammad? This guy, I don't, I don't know what he was trying to argue about. This is the problem with non-Arab speaking Muslims. They don't, they don't know Arabic, don't understand what the Quran say. It's only what the Imam lied to them. I don't, uh, so, uh, sorry, I didn't understand what he was arguing about. Dude, he had no idea what Arabic is. He was saying, when you say, Avvalu, Muslimin, it does not mean that he was, there were many Muslims before him. And I said, yes, there were many Muslims before him, not before him, around him, because it is the 55th surah. By the way, this is chapter number 39. It is also said, Awwal al-Muslimin. And I'm commanded to be the first whom are Muslims. Like, you cannot run away from the subject of Quran saying to Muhammad, that he is the first of the Muslim. It's almost impossible to run away from this subject. But this is chapter number 39, verse number 12. It's the one that starts Islam. So he's the... <laughs> it's, up, it's clear, right? I don't understand. <laughs> well, Muhammad will start Islam. So he is the first one. Exactly. And, much, and chapter number 39, verse number 11 says, Say, O Muhammad, lo, I am commanded to worship Allah, making a religion pure for him, and I am commanded to be the first of the Muslimin. Yeah, man, that is even more disturbing. 
because by reference he is saying i am commanded to worship allah making the religion pure mukh lisan mukh lisan what would you they say over here brother so uh, according to that guy the muslim guy that the 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 ones the muslims that uh, were before muhammad the prophets they were not mukhlisin uh probably what well, that's what i understand from what we see seen so but oh. you, in this verse it say qul inni umirtu an a'budu allaha mukhlisan lahu ad-din absolutely then then all the previous prophets supposedly who are supposedly muslim they are what they, they are were not, they were not, not faithful <laughs> <laughs> they were not faithful to allah they were not uh, they were not worshiping him in honest way or they were man this is he, he just this guy he just destroyed what uh, what islam teach he just destroyed all of the prophets that ever came before muhammad oh we have another muslim who saying who's adding words in quran aram seeker muhammad was the first of the muslim in saudi arabia and this is said by jibril to this idiot rahim only not by to muhammad in quran this was said to him jibril just came to this idiot he just delivered this new revelation brother do you see saudi arabia in this uh, and uh, these verses i uh, know there is no say the european in that this word oh according and to this guy even... mm-hmm. uh, sorry bro uh what well, if muhammad was that's mean that uh, islam was in india was in uh, portugal was in colombia is that what he's telling us that muslims before muhammad they were everywhere oh i don't know man. i don't know Habibullah why do i need to send you friend request what is what is this guy this guy is saying uh, send me friend request what do you mean by like is there youtube with friend requests now the stream yard link is in the pinned comments what do you mean by friend request youtube doesn't have friends it's not facebook it's youtube just click the link and come up live uh, uh, he's saying that uh, he wants to come to teach you <laughs> in the chat Okay, okay. Let, him, let him come. Brother, brother Adam, be patient. Allah is so slow. And do you think that a Muslim can be fast than, than Allah? Allah. Uh, you okay, so right. man. You are so right. Yeah, <clears throat> they, are, they, they cannot be faster than Allah for sure. The Pro- problem is this. you are right so we have to wait for this customer to come up and uh, prove us by the way uh, did you uh, by the way what do you think of this uh, that i showed you earlier from uh, sira uh, from uh, that the stories of prophet what do you think of this when john the baptist which is yaya of quran is prostrating to jesus while they are both in the womb of uh, mother of their own mothers brother nurul masi i wasn't here can you can you tell me what was happening that john the baptist he was talking from the womb No, no, he is he is prostrating. He is doing sajda yeah, in and his mother womb to Jesus in the womb of Mother Mary. So what is how, how who said that? Ibn Kathir. No, I mean, I mean, he say here. Then her aunt said, "I can see what how she can see what is inside the womb." that is what you need to ask uh, uh, her aunt but <laughs> ibn kathir <laughs> 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 that's a 
good question by the way <laughs> brother jibril came to ibn kathir and told ibn kathir directly brother yeah uh, you see why i left islam surah and that guy you see why i i, I left islam because i ask like this question when it said then her aunt said i can see what is in my womb i ask how she could uh, see what in her womb there were no scanner in that time so how she could know that that he was pros prostrating I this is the question red wallah you need to start asking oh i will i will definitely ask her by the way thank you jack ray for your uh, donation by the way jdr to i have given the live stream link if this guy has to come he can come if he is not coming it's not my fault and I, there is no friend request in youtube i can't help him he is trying to hide he is trying to give you excuses and you are falling to his excuses jdr please man understand the excuses of these idiots by the way uh, that uh, stupid ridwan is here again uh, brother uh, i am done with this guy i've already seen him he's an idiot would you like to have a talk with him or should i just kick him and ban him why do i need to talk with someone that doesn't use just a little bit of about arabic when he does oh he he said that my arabic is bad and his arabic is far better than my arabic by the way his arabic is supposedly very good compared to my arabic brother you need to get a better microphone uh, connected by the way can you hear me now yes, yes I'm, i can i'm going to have soon a new microphone which is in the way so uh, when he was reading the arabic what i was saying when he was reading arabic i tell you my nephew in 5 years old he read it better than him <laughs> i'm i'm honest believe me i'm honest with you in 5 years by the way uh, brother check this out i am showing that your Mus his muslim scholar his muslim scholars are saying that john the baptist was prostrating to jesus and this guy is saying john the baptist was greater than them john the baptist <laughs> so I don't know where these Muslims gets these kind of information, but they actually refute themselves. Their own Muslim scholars are saying something else, and they say something else, and that's the basic problem with these guys. They don't know jack about their religion. They don't know jack about their religion. Ask him what is uh, uh, the message of John Baptist in the Quran. What was his? Okay, he's listening. He's listening. What is his role in the Quran, John Baptist? What is the message? Okay, what is the message? Let's see. Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. If he says any, he's gonna run in circles, anyways. Well, we hope. We hope he can answer. Anyhow, so we have seen uh, this live stream was for letting everyone know why I am having some Urdu uh, videos in my channel. Let me now we have more subscribers, uh, more viewers right now. So let me just show you guys, guys. So basically, what happened is that uh, there are three channels in Pakistan. who create who join together the islamic awakening channel the masihi muslim makalama which means debate between christians and muslim and the light of truth three different channels who are who have a fire against christians right 
they joined hands together and refuted one video of mine all of these three channels together they brought their best guy umar but farooq but kunali chat muchawat they brought him to refute one of my video an hour long video in my urdu channel they brought him and this idiot tried to refute me and he made a video of 3 hours long and i am giving them their picture back where they have not refuted anything the video title is allah sends astray i have watched it for 1 hour 10 minutes approximately so so far he has not refuted a single time saying allah does not send astray so i in my video at least he has not said a single sentence saying allah does not send astray right now i still have to watch for approximately 2 hours more and i am making short clips on what he said so the first two clips are for the first 40 minutes of his refutation i am going to be putting some more urdu uh short videos re- responding to him and then once i am done with the 3 hours video of his i'm going to make a live stream in which i will explain each and every short video in one go uh but that is i am doing it in my english channel because in my urdu channel i have smaller number of subscribers and i cannot tag these channels so i have to tag these three channels so that when they when i put my video there they will be notified that i have put my video unlike these idiots who did not tag me they made video against me behind my back they called me all the names of the world they cursed my face they cursed everything but they did not refuted anything what i said But yet am- without tagging me yet i am tagging them and i am asking them to come live yes sister usma brother adam uh, in the private jdr a uh, brother is here just to show the habibullah that the oh, link is working is because hold on habibullah i said that his link is not like stream yard link is not working so just to show brother jdr uh, i just added you brother i didn't see you before sorry yes brother yes brother peace of christ uh, i peace wanted to show christ. this uh, yeah this uh, habibul i wanted to show you the link is properly working man yeah if you have if you are brave enough please no there is no problem with the link everyone is here already we are talking yeah. so how can there be a problem with the link hello habibul can you hear me habibi can you hear me habibi yeah habibi yeah. <laughs> it's, it's me bro it's me man sura kali habibul can you hear me did you see Come on in, man. He said that uh, that Ridwan ashamed him, embarrassed him. <laughs> Ridwan <laughs> really embarrassed everyone. Yet he has the guts to go. Like these people are shameless. Yet he has the guts to go into the live chat and say something. These people are shameless, like Muhammad. Like Muhammad, who would walk out with the with the clothes, with the uh, with the semen spots on his clothes. and the water dripping from his clothes from the semen spot and yeah they they follow that kind of a prophet so why would they not be shameless like him Rizwa, so only for habibullah scared, only for habibullah the... it is only for habibullah the stream yard gives 404 only for this idiot everyone else is coming in ridwan is saying they don't are scared of me I like yeah, brother Adam. Did you see? Are you scared of me or what? Okay, so Ridwan, uh, uh, Sheikh Habibullah said, Ridwan Ibrahim, I am not, I am not Christian, but you embarrassed us. So this Muslim is saying to Ridwan that you are embarrassing us. Ridwan, don't do that, you stupid idiot. You are adding verses, words to Quran. <laughs> Brother Adam. Oh my God. Brother Adam, he said, "I don't know Islam because this is why it's easy for me to be a kafir." No, Ridwan, I know Islam. 
I am ra uh, I was raised in Islamic country. I'm still in Islamic country, in Arabic country. I went to Al Madrasa. Do you know what Al Madrasa? Quran. I was tested in the exams about the Quran and the oh, red one. You are the one that you Arabic and you are the one that don't know because Allah said in the Anzala Quran and Arabia. Allah said that we revealed it or uh, descended Arabic. So as you are not an Arab, read one, you missed a lot of hasanat by reading just the Quran. So if I am a Muslim, like a Muslim, an Arab Muslim, he earn a lot of hasanat than you because he can read the Quran in Arab. And you cannot. Do you see? Do you know that you, if you read the Quran, you, you earn hasanat? Do you see how Allah, how Allah is racist? How Allah, prefer, how Allah is preferring Arabs than others? Ridwan Ibrahim. He says, so does that mean you understand it more than me? <laughs> <laughs> so he who does not even understand Quran when he is reading Quran, this idiot is asking, so he, does that mean you understand it more than me? <laughs> Light of light, uh, Nurul Basi. Seriously, this is this is the best joke ever. A guy who doesn't know French saying, "Do you know French more than me?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe he understand. Well, even even the scholar don't understand the Quran. Okay, let, really? let's do this. Way. Let's do this. Okay. Let me, Ridwan. I'm gonna add you in. What you have to do is you have to. Talk to Nurul Masih in Arabic. Let's see. Let's see how much Arabic you know. What's happening over here? JDR, are you good? You're dropping and coming back, dropping and coming back. Is it okay? Okay, Ridwan, come back. I will add you in the stream. Let's see how good is your Arabic. Now, now let's see if he comes. No, no, see, this is this is just so awesome. I'm loving this today. And what and his 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 follower is saying, don't is is his follower of his same prophet is saying, hey Ridwan, don't go live. You you shame us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> see the uh, you know the Habibullah. I said okay, just use this different browser, maybe Google, and then you can come and click the the link. And you know what he said? Google is not the browser. <laughs> Google is not the browser, so what is browser? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He said Google is not the browser. <laughs> Surah so, uh, Ali Habibullah. Are you on Arabic? Because Surah is uh, like screaming. Okay, so, right? so, so Why imagine. Are you screaming? <laughs> Brother, check well, this out. He's running. I don't have time for you dummies need to go to sleep. Good night. <laughs> Uh, red one, red one, be careful. You need to pray before you go to bed or the Satan will urine into your ear. You know that. Wallahi, that urine will be such good urine for him. He will be <laughs> all clean because of the urine of Satan. <laughs> I, 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 I bet he doesn't know that. Oh, he doesn't know that? I don't Probably think so. I don't think so. And by the way, Ridwan, Ridwan, sleep well. And, and pray well because tomorrow morning, if you don't wake up for the Fajr prayer, the Satan will come out of your nose and urinate in your ear as well so that you will not be able to hear the Adhan of Allah. So Satan is still going to urinate in your ear if you don't wake up early morning. So Rizwan, in both cases, there will be big trouble for you. A lot of urines. Oh. Brother Adam, uh, can, I, can I ask uh, uh, Ridwan if he never missed the, the night prayer? Oh, please, please ask him. Please ask him. Uh, any Muslims, in, have you ever missed the uh, night prayer? Have you ever? 
Because I know a lot, uh, you know, most the Muslims believe that. I'm just asking them how the test of the urine of Satan. How oh, does it That is such a difficult question. Even now, if he has missed so many, because he must have missed so many, uh, he won't going to say no. Oh, no. Oh, boss man has said, boss man, please uh, don't call him stupid man. Please, bro. He, Muhammad will mind it. Sorry, Ridwan will mind it. Muhammad won't. He's already dead. So you can call Muhammad stupid, but don't call Ridwan stupid. He's following a stupid man. That is fine. But he himself is not stupid, even though that he's following a stupid dead guy. So boss man, please be, be reasonable with this guy. He, poor guy. He doesn't have his brain in his head. He is like down below. All right, so we have another guy over here. Come on, man, get get back with your original name. I'm not adding you in as this name. So change your name. Get back as Rudra. Come on, you know who I'm talking to. Before I add you live, get back to your original name. Okay. All right, we have Rudra with us. Yes, Rudra, what do you have to say? Yeah. Hey, Adam. Hello, Rosma. Hello. Uh, I cannot read Hello, this name. Nurul Masih. Nurul Masih. Okay. okay. Uh, so, Adam, uh, uh, I just here. To, uh, can I speak in Urdu? No, brother. This is an English live stream. I will let you know okay, okay. in, in Urdu in my Urdu live stream, which is in in the Urdu channel. Uh, not here. Sure, brother. sure, sure. Sure. So, some uh, some um, some misunderstanding had happened between us so you that block me with my that we will talk yes. in a that we will talk in a private chat here what do you have to yes, say yes. about topic no uh, i don't want to say in uh, in this topic uh, i just want to uh, uh, clarify okay, something for, for so that we will we have will a, uh, yeah for that we will uh, have uh, after we will yeah. have a backstage talk Okay, okay. Thank you so much. All righty. We will do that. So you can say here if you want to, or uh, you can mute yourself if you do not have to add anything on the topic. All right. So, okay. So, Nurul Masi, I'm going to bring up a comment and we can all laugh. There we go. Where is it written in Bible to be a Christian said by Jesus? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness I, today it's like la, la, because of so much laughing my my stomach muscles are hurting already because of so much laugh because like they, like there are people whose brains are i don't know somewhere can can he even tell me what christian means and Christianity means, and why did this name come to us? Has he even read the Bible or the history that the people, the apostles who were following Christ, they were called Christians because they were the follower of Christ. That's the literal meaning, the follower of Christ. They named them Christians. They called them Christians. Why would Jesus has to say, you are Christian, whereas he says, follow me. He is the Christ. He has to say, follow me. And he has said, follow me so many times in the Bible. Is he the Christ? Yes. So the one who follows him, will he be called Christians? Yes. Because what does Christian means? It means follower of Christ. Christos. So now, like, if this guy doesn't even know the basic A, B, C, D, why is he even coming up to have a debate? Well, brother, look what he writes again. <laughs> so your your life followers of Christ was Christ a Christian. Man, Ridwan, oh, Jesus is God. 
Jesus <laughs> God, man. Real life of Christ, Christ. Oh, oh. So he's saying, he's oh. saying, is Christ follower of Christ? Okay, Ridwan, can you show me where Allah is following himself? <laughs> okay, that's a good question. <laughs> like, he is like, there's a, there's a level of stupidity, but this guy has, he's guy, has, like, I'm already telling him what Christian means because he asked a question. Now I'm answering him what Christian means. Now he said, does Christ call himself Christian? You stupid demonic idiot. You son of a devil. And that's a biblical terminology because Paul called these kind of people as son of devils because they are actually making other people follow a false thing. And these are son of devils, just like the devil who does not give the proper verses, but actually picks up left, right and center out of context verses. These guys do the same. Nothing different. So he, I already explained. Christian means the one who follow Christ. So he's saying Christ has to follow himself to be called Christian. That's how stupid it is. That is how stupid it is. And then it is it is so silly. Like he is bringing up such stupid comments. It's unbelievable. By the way, now I believe that if and whenever uh, this guy Habibullah will come up live, we will have a very reasonable discussion because of the things that he is saying. Seems like he is a guy with some brain. And I like him because he's saying, keep silent to Ridwan. Watch me live and learn how to debate. So seriously speaking, I think this guy, if and whenever he comes live, we will have a very reasonable and mature talk because at least he acknowledges that Ridwan is saying nothing more than stupidity and him being a Muslim with a cap and a long beard, he already acknowledges and he knows the biblical scripture enough to say that these are stupid questions that he is asking. Uh, uh, Brother Adam, uh, uh, I, I, know I want to advise Surah Ali Habibullah uh, to recite the Mu'awid Datain. I, I, I think he knows Mu'awid Datain. So maybe uh, StreamYard can work, or he can see, inshallah. I have no idea why his StreamYard is not working at his side, but I personally believe that if he comes up, at least we will have some more uh, of, a, of a knowledgeable discussion with this guy because he will not bring up these stupid things which makes us laugh but rather we will have some intellectual discussion with this guy. And I truly believe, and I truly uh, think that this guy should come up live. Uh, I don't know how he can, but uh, uh, Mr. Habibullah, my Discord link is in the description of the video. Rather, it is on most of my recent videos. Please go and come to my Discord server. If StreamYard is not possible for you, I will have a talk with you in Discord. All right, guys. I think that has been a very funny, enjoying, laughing talk. <clears throat> and uh, it was a good one. <laughs> Rizwan is asking Habibullah, if you are a truly Muslim, send me the Facebook, <laughs> Facebook message, Facebook friendship. <laughs> now they're having a problem. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think Rizwan has has the courage to even talk to a Muslim. That's not even a even a thing. Okay, Rizwan uh, Habibullah is saying I will install VPN next time and then join because my internet provider has blocked StreamYard. Okay. Uh, when you have a VPN, let me know. You have my StreamYard link. You will actually, you can actually send me in the description of some video that you have the VPN, and I will go live specially for you, specially to have a discussion with you. How about that? So get the VPN, and uh, I will open a live stream for you. 
because the way you talk and the way you are saying stuff to Rezwan seems like when I'm going to talk with you, it will be much more intellectual and it will be a very, very reasonable talk. So I sincerely hope that very soon we will be able to talk and uh, we will be able to come to uh, a reasonable uh, chat. I hope that he can fix the uh, 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 Surah, are you in Afghanistan? I think in Afghanistan will not work. The internet doesn't work. I don't know. I, I, I don't think we should I don't think we should ask anyone about their location. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Sorry for that. Yeah, because like it's a, it's a personal thing and I, I don't give my location so I, I shouldn't be asking anyone else's location. Uh, so he said, okay, deal. So let's see, guys. Whenever he has the VPN and everything, uh, we will going to have a talk with him. All right, guys. Now it's time for me to close uh, my live stream. Wow, it's been over two hours already. Yeah. I had a wonderful time. And once again, to all my viewers, like I said before, you will be able to see some more uh, Urdu short videos on my English channel because I have to... Uh, I have to tag these idiots who made uh, a so-called refutation. These three channels, the Muslim Masihi Makalama, uh, uh, this Islamic Awakening, and this Light of Truth, they are all Pakistani Muslim channels. They tried to gang up on me, not coming up for a debate, but talking behind my back without tagging my channel talking behind my back, trying to refute me. Now, <clears throat> I have already challenged them. Come up, have a debate, have a talk. They are running like coward, sissified sissies. Now they made a video. I'm refuting them because their video is in, in Urdu. Hence, I am refuting them in Urdu. My Urdu channel does not have a lot of subscribers. Unless I have a thousand subscriber, I cannot tag them. Oh wow, I have six more people joined in. So I have a 770 subscribers now. So guys, subscribe to my Urdu channel. <clears throat> I need to be a thousand uh, to tag these idiot channels. Uh, but because my English channel has more subscribers than I can tag them. So this is why you can see some English uh, Urdu videos, short videos, which is refutation to these uh, people, like part one and part two is already there. I'll be putting part three, four, five, and six, and I don't know how many, because these two parts I made in just the first 40 minutes. And I'm going to add more and more, because I have already watched one hour, 10 minutes. He has not refuted any of my point that Allah sends astray. He has not sent a single time that Allah does not send astray so far. Let's see if he does say it. Uh, but at the same time, he is pointing some stuff from the Bible and I'm responding him back from the Bible. And plus I am giving him his face from his Quran and his seed of Muhammad and all that. Uh, so this is why you are seeing some Urdu videos. You will be seeing some more Urdu videos. Yes. Um, uh, until uh, and then I will make one long video explaining every Urdu video that I made. So guys, do watch my videos. Plus, I will make one English video combining all of these refutation in one long live stream. I'll make these three channels famous. And Umar Farooq is such a stupid demonic being. <laughs> you know, have you seen? Have you seen some some kids getting spanked on the butt? That's mm -hmm. what I'm doing with this guy right now. <laughs> Seriously, and you know what, uh, brother Adam? Um, like, I mean, I would just would like to say everybody that please uh, share your Urdu Adam Seeker Urdu channel on your social medias as well. Not only just on the YouTube. Please do share on the social media, Facebook, wherever you go, in the groups, everywhere. So and more more uh, quickly. He will have more than thousand um, subscribers, so it will be easy. You know the Urdu speaking uh, people; they can come there 
and you know you don't then you don't have to put that uh, you know double uh, thing but it's good yeah. to have the more more subscribers like you have to share more and more and more please maybe one or two weeks or one week maybe less than one week your uh, subscriber should go up more than 1000 please do share hey, whoever listening and uh, do share in the social media as well and then just share it continuously sharing it uh, you guys have like a maybe uh, in the different groups in the Facebook as well. Um, just share it in Urdu. Thank it is you, good sister, for the people not... to understand. Thank you so much, brother. Take care. I, I'm just sitting and I enjoyed. <laughs> I'm just sitting and listening. I enjoyed your live stream. Um, there was an intense discussion, but also much more funny, funny um, discussion. But uh, yes, uh, the Muslim. People, I just would ask, like, like to ask them that please, when you come uh, live and talk to uh, anyone of us, or especially brother, brother Adam, uh, please prepare, be prepared. Don't just come without like empty handed, empty brain. So you have to read uh, and then you have to, uh, you know, know what you're asking and why you're asking. You know your own resources. You should know. So you have to read your own Quran and Hadith before you come and ask about our beliefs so do your own research in your own book uh, read your own book uh, clean your own mess first and then come and ask about our religion our faith god bless exactly. you all thank you sister and uzma khan already has our channel uzma khan uh, your channel uh, let me share your channel hold on mm. for everyone to see as well uh, uzma you. khan has a channel who is doing uh okay hold on let me just show your channel first hold on all right so this is the uzma khan's channel as you can see on the screen and she is also an ex-muslim thank you and she is now a christian, christian. follower amen. of christ amen hallelujah amen hallelujah thank you brother thank you brother uh, adam thank you brother nur Masi. thank you so much god bless you Thank you all and God bless you. Thank you, Adam, and may God bless your ministry. Amen. And please pray for Muslims. Amen. God yes, bless amen. you. Bye bye. God bless you. Amen. Take care. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. All right. And for uh, Muslims like Ridwan and everyone else, quite frankly, I don't care about your dawah. What I care is what is written. When you tell me, <clears throat> It is Awalul Muslim in Arabia. The Quran has to say that. It's I am not I'm not going to be the one who's going to waste time on you listening to what you are saying. No, you mean nothing when it comes to Quran. As as far as your own scholars are concerned, you mean nothing. As far as Muhammad is concerned, you mean nothing. As far as the ulama deen of Islam means, you mean nothing. What it means, what means is what is written in Quran. And when I'm showing you <clears throat> and you are going left, right, I do not want to waste time with you on that. Yes, if you are so powerful, in Islamic scriptures and you want to go to a tafsir I will go to your tafsir if you want me to say hey Adam I believe in this scholar and I will accept his tafsir let's go to this tafsir I will go with you on that tafsir but at the same time I will go to that tafsir for any verse of the Quran. If you want to go with me to Tibri for one verse, I will use Tibri for every verse of the Quran and you will have to accept with me. You want to go to Ibn Kathir for a verse, I will go to Ibn Kathir for any verse of the Quran and you will have to agree with me. Else, stick to the Quran and the Arabic of Quran. What does it say? 
I won't even ask you if you go to a tafsir, how did this guy received this revelation or this new thing that he added in Quran? I won't even ask you. Even though when you read the tafsir, you see that there are things coming in tafsir from left, right, and center which has no basis in the Quran. But I will accept it. Why? Because no matter what you pick, no matter which scholar you pick, it will destroy your current verdict. Because all of these scholars are just as fooled as you are by Muhammad. They are just as deceived as you are by Muhammad. They are just as ignorant as you are. Why? Because Muhammad just wanted power. And he used a religion to achieve power. That's it. He used a religion to achieve power. Because at the time of Arabia, at the time of Muhammad during Arabia, there were many religions and many gods. Each and every tribe supposedly, I'm going to use the word supposedly because this is in the Islamic scriptures, had their own gods and their own followers. At the end, what has happened is Muhammad was not able to combine all of them. Muhammad was not able to make a unified leader, was not able to be a unified leader unless he would somehow be able to combine all of them. And how did he do that? He made a religion. Uh, he made a a religion and that is why when we see in Quran chapter number 38 verse number 5 it says let me just show you 38 5 Quraysh and Makkah is saying to Muhammad have you made all the gods into one God that is a strange thing you did. O Muhammad, maketh he the gods one Allah? Alihatan Wahid. It's not Allah. It's Ilah. Alihan, the ruler. Ajal. Ilahan. Right? Al Alihatan. Al Ilahin Wahid. What have you done? You have made all the gods into one God. Lo. This is an astonishing thing that you have done. This is a strange thing that you have done. Let me go to Sahih International. Let's see if it says something nicer in English. Has he made the gods one God? Yes. Is Ilahan an Alihan? Right? Ilahan an Alihan. Has he made the gods one God? Indeed. This is a curious thing. Strange thing. Ujab. Ujab. Right? Ujab. So there were gods, like for example, Rahman was a god of Musaylima al kazab He was called al kazab because al kazab means the liar. Because he also said that he's a prophet. Muhammad said he's a false prophet, he's a liar prophet. So there were Rahman prophet, there were other, oh, sorry, Rahman god and other gods around him as well. Muhammad said all of these good names, Rahman, Rahim, Al-Malik, Al-Quddus, Al-Salam, Al-Mu'min, Al-Muhaymin, Al-Aziz, Al-Jabbar, and so on and so forth, are now the names of Allah. And they were saying, Muhammad, what have you done? You have done a very strange thing. You have made all gods into one god. Even the people of Quraysh, they realized the stupidity of Muhammad. But once again, anyone who said anything against Muhammad, he got him killed. And I have done many, many live streams on that.
Yes, they were all different gods. Because how can Rahman be Jabbar or Kahar? Rahman is merciful, Kahar is wrathful. So how can they two be the same? So hence there was a God of fighter, there was a God of love, there was a God of mercy, there was a God of this and God of that and God of this and God of that. And he made all of them as one God. Even the Quraysh of Makkah finally had to say, this is an astonishing thing that you have done. And it is in Quran, not in Hadith or anything else. Quraysh of Makkah is saying that. No matter what you see above and below, it does not matter. Read it. It doesn't matter. Context of this verse doesn't matter because it has, I'm telling you the context by the tafasi. But when you talk about Jesus and the truth, when you talk about Jesus and the truth, has anyone ever told Jesus and said Jesus something like this? He came. He showed divine miracles. You know what divine miracle is? A divine miracle is a miracle which nobody else can perform or do. Which can only be divine in a way. He was dead bodily for three days. Then he raised alive. Lazarus was dead, buried in a tomb, buried in a tomb. Three days later, three days far too late, far too late. People are saying, there was a Muslim guy who had a debate with me one day. He said that the lady was sleeping. Jesus said in the gospel, the lady was is only sleeping. She wasn't even dead. She was probably in a in a coma state. People thought she is dead. I was like, fair enough, friend. Back in those days, people did not know about coma. This lady was dead. Okay, but what about Lazarus? You know, when when I hear, when I, when I, when I, when I read gospel, I was, when I was first reading gospel, I was like, why did Jesus waited this long, even though he was informed that he is dying, that Lazarus is dying? Why would Jesus not go there right now, like foreign, like suddenly? Why did he waited? But you know, because he knew there will be a time. When there will be some people who will say, no, 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 that lady was re really sleeping, not dead. He waited. He waited. Three days. Then he went there. Then he said, okay, take me to the tomb. But he is dead, Lord. He is dead, Lord. Jesus said, take me to the tomb. He went in. He said, wake up Lazarus. So, you know, this is the beauty of our Lord. Okay, Lazarus. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, come on, stop giving me a pronunciation lectures, guy. Come on. Now, when I go emotional and I speak, somebody sends me a message and somehow I look at the spot message which just says, I have a pronunciation wrong. Wow. <laughs> okay, Mr. Abby, thank you for the correction. But you guys got the meaning. You guys got it. How they twist the Bible. And this is what I have shown in part two as well. How this Uban Fuban Farooq. He's another Ibn Fuban Farooq. Pakistani. But he's a no English. So he's Ibn Fuban Farooq. 
but he is not a pakhtun he is a but he said when jesus was praying in the garden of now now when i will say the name of the garden somebody will going to correct me over there as well that i am not saying the right word of the garden of gethsemane and it should be said in a different way <laughs> but anyhow he was praying in the garden and then the people came to take him away everyone was like pakdo 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 jesus was running left right and center and they were, they were trying to catch him i don't know which gospel he was reading i showed him all the gospels in part 2 and i showed him that he went out willingly because he said that it is written and it will it will be fulfilled because the prophets have said it because it is in the scripture and it will be fulfilled and he also said if i wanted i would have said to my father and he would have given me 12 legions of angels is this him running and people saying catch him catch him catch him catch him catch him when one of his apostle cut the ear with the sword he saying do not live by the sword because the one who lives by the sword die by the sword is this him running but these son of devils who would give the verses out of context who would try to make their own false gospel just to proclaim their allah as it is said by paul if i am exalting and honoring my god with lie will it be any beneficial that's the meaning of it not the exact words but here as a muslim you can lie for the sake of allah and is is all halal it is all halal why is it halal why lying is halal isn't it saying in the in the bible revelation it says clearly liars go to hell liars will go to hell i think it's chapter number 22 verse number 8 or chapter number 8 verse number 22 either of the two liars go to hell but as a muslim you can lie if it is for the sake of allah and you can lie to your wife as well and you can lie if you are making two friends to reconcile and you can lie in the war as well because war is deception so muhammad where can we not lie like seriously is there any place that is remaining oh yes you can also lie and reject allah and muhammad if you are about to be killed so you can even lie at that time so is there any location left where you cannot lie <laughs> but that's the teaching of islam and that is why when these idiots come up and try to refute anything they simply cannot the only thing that they can do is give the verses out of context from the bible and try to proclaim or give honor to their allah their god and their prophet whereas when we look at the seerah look at the quran look at the tafsir we will see that there is nothing in them there is nothing in them with that i will end my live stream today it's a very long live stream but that's what happens when people come and we have a chitter chatter and all that so i hope you guys enjoy it i love you guys all remember jesus is lord 
and he came for us as the Bible says he who loved the world so much that he sent his only begotten son God bless you all have a blessed day evening or night wherever you are Yeshua Akbar Azim.